Yeah, good morning, guys. So today I want to show you how I withdraw my funds from Payoneer to to my straight to my bank account and using TransferWise. So first of all, this is my Payoneer account, and let me refresh it. So now, you know, so this is a live account. This is just a little amount in, the, in my account, but I just want to show you guys how to make this withdrawal. Okay. So this is 130 USD. What I want to withdraw from there is 80 USD to my bank account. And um, look at, I've already logged into my TransferWise account. Let me also refresh my TransferWise account. So I'm refreshing my TransferWise account right now, okay? So, so the first step you're gonna do is to go to send money. Now once you're on this first um, send money, this is the dashboard you're gonna see. I've already written about this post some time ago on the blog, but I wanna show you as a video so it's become more easier for you. So now this is how it works to go into Nigerian bank account. It works with sending from um, a GBP account, uh, your yeah, uh, denomination, so Naira denomination. So if as you can see, my balance here is a USD balance, not a GBP balance. So what am I going to do is I'm going to change this. I want to get rates, um, transfer wise rates of USD to GBP. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to USD and type $80. As I said, I want to withdraw $80. So I'm also type, and then I'm going to also change this to GBP. So as you can see, um, 80 USD is 58 GBP on uh, transfer wise. They're going to charge me to for it to USD. Okay, so that is it. So I'm going to change it back to GBP and put that right here and change this to so far. Okay, I think this is a better measurement for the stuff. So this is um transferwise is actually giving me three forty per dollar for today. Today is covered by February first. So I'm just gonna show you that it arrives in minutes. So if this is the rate transfer wise it's giving me three forty per dollar and it's arrived in minutes, that means a good deal. It's better than using an exchanger. An exchanger these days will also give you around 340 on the maximum, and it's not as private and convenient as using TransferWise app. So, like I said, I was I just trying to get give you a good depiction of the rates of TransferWise, but otherwise. If you want to withdraw, this has to be in GBP, and then let's proceed. So I'm going to click continue. Now the next place is showing the recipient who is receiving this money. So I already have two of my bank accounts already listed here. So which one am I going to use? I can use either of them to redraw my funds. So let's try this one. That's my UBA. So this is the other book. You send from the 8.7 to 4 GBP. This is the fee. This is the amount. Now they will convert. Guarantee this is the hours. So, yeah, this is the rate GBP rate to Naira I get 27,000. Don't worry about this. I'm just going to show you within the next 15 minutes. I want to receive this money. <coughs> so, as a reference, we're going to use on Bible funds. Confirm, continue. 
Now this is the point. The pay point is where you're gonna choose how you want to pay. I'm paying with my debit card, my Payoneer card, which is this three six four four that I'm paying with. Um, I already have the card on this account, so I'm gonna click continue to payment. That's debit card. As you can see this is my card. So this is the card. This three six four four. Yep. So you don't have to see this one because <laughs> this is the private stuff. Oh god, it's strange. Okay, I'm gonna blow it. That's it. And then I click pay. And boom. If you have money in the card, definitely it's gonna go. Just wait a little bit. Yeah, it's gonna restart, it's gonna reload itself and yep. As you can see, this is starting your transfer, receiving your money, and boom, transfer started. So that is it. So guys, as I promised, um, so as I told you about that this stuff is gonna arrive in a minute. It's not about, it's not close to about seven minutes since I ended the video and was waiting for the credit alert. And this is just the alert all of the time. This is 01 February 2020, 03. And I made this video around 9.58 or so. so it's arrived almost in between five sorry three to five minutes so it's really a good deal yeah. and this so guys right now i want to make a draw to so i want to send first from my pioneer account to my second peony account. I use the second peony account for my Facebook advertisement and I just want to show you guys the other time I talk I showed you how to you know withdraw to your bank to transfer wise but right now I want to show you how to send to another peony account but right now I'm sending it to another of my peony account. So the first thing you want to do is you're gonna click um pay make a payment Um, this is a two option to recipient PN account and to recipient bank account. So I'm going to click the recipient PN account. And all I'm needing for this is just the recipient email address. So this is the same email address. I've actually sent this email address before. I usually from the account to this email address. Something you need to know about Pioneer is that for you to send to a, another Pioneer account email, you have to make sure that the fund you're sending is between $50 and above. You cannot send below $50. But if you're actually funding your accounts from a mass paying company like Fiverr or Pork and all that, you can fund it with any amount at all. It doesn't matter if it's below $50 or not. So, so Let's go ahead. So I'm gonna click this email right now. You can as well just type it. You can as well just type it directly and you're still good to go. So next thing you're gonna do is to click here to choose which particular balance. As you can see, as you saw on my dashboard, while showing you that of the transfer wise. You know, when I went to transfer it um and I transfer to bank account through transfer wise. You saw I have a true balance, I have a euro pounds and USD. So you want to have to got to have to specify which of the balance you want to transfer from to another PNA account. So I'm gonna click here and then we're gonna click this. If you don't remember the card is 3644. So that is it. So I'm gonna click 50 USD. Then the purpose of the payment is you're gonna use a good purpose um you use content writing but you don't want to suggest to pioneer that you actually own this to account once your card account is gone. 
So from the right, so then I click review. Now this is the other book, those recipients details, which is the receiver's email, and then payment details. This is me. This is me. This is me. This is me. So it's actually free. It's not like PayPal. So I'm going to pay right now. Okay, so sending payments from PayPal to another PayPal account actually takes two steps. Once you've clicked, um, once you've authorized it, they're going to send you the first email telling you that you're sending uh, your request to send to PayPal. <coughs> so account was actually received, which is this one. And then the next one you're going to receive is that it's approved. Once it's approved, you just gonna be sure that it's in the other account. So payment is quite a very simple um, payment processor. A lot of paper, as you can see, there is no complication of having to use VPN and all that. This is Nigeria location. Let's check it. Let's. You're gonna see that this is the Nigeria location. I'm changing anything. My account is also domicile in Nigeria. Approve and geo accounts. Now, the paper that you know, I don't really know what the problem is. So, guys, so that is just hedge. If you want to open up paying your account or transfer an account, you can click the link below and make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and make sure that you actually sign up for my link. So, I'm gonna get a little bit of stuff from you. Yeah, thank you very much. Have a nice day and have a good weekend. Bye-bye.